foundation today, we're going to do, um, we're going to call our nations to uh, uh, the Congo rights. The Congo rights, you know, come from Congo, Africa. Um, the Congo and Africa, where, and that's, that can be several places where the Congo is so-called situated, you know, compared, you know um, compared to ancient times and now. But anyway, we talk about, um, we talk about um, uh, mysteries that go back millions of years. And that's what we also, we want to uh, deal with all types of alternative thoughts and alternative history. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to put a libations to that. And in so many words, we just, uh, um, they don't need a lot of water, food, or drink, and all that. Uh, um, they uh, just need your energy. So uh, the, the key one is um, Zara Banda. Um, and these are very powerful ones here. You know, I'm talking about um, very powerful ones. Um, did you ever, did, did I give you this last time? The, uh, um, the, the Congo rights? Did uh, I? Uh, hmm? I think so. Did you ever use them? Hmm? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying because what this is, I, I've very, been using a lot of very stuff. powerful energy, and I'll explain what this thing is in a few minutes. But um, this is the type of force you're going to need to align yourself up with, as well as financially. And I'll, and I'll explain something too, basically how you deal with the finance thing, because I know that that's one on everybody's mind. I was able to escape it for nine years and all, and I ended up um, <laughs> wondering where I'm going to eat every two, three days. But, <laughs> um, um, but uh, what it is is there's a way that this thing is actually done to actually get you what you want. Um, and I'll start with that right after we uh, we, we pull to the actual uh, the actual uh, Congo rights. I'm gonna get a few other ones. This is uh, a few other ones. Um, this stuff is not mentioned uh, at all. Basically, the government wants this type of stuff here. Um, really, uh, really shut up. You will hear more of your Yoruba deities and stuff, but what happens here is, is when you, when you have a couple of million, when you have millions of people calling the names, the energy kind of gets saturated. You got five million uh, white practitioners in the Yoruba thing, period, um, um, in the United States. That's not including um, the, the, uh, the whole Caribbean and the whole Latin America. You see, so you're talking about uh, one of the fastest growing religions, uh, 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 what they call, some people say, way of life, or basically what's left of it in the actual, in the world. Now, the thing about it is when you, when, in these systems, these systems, um, when you have millions of people calling on them, it saturates the actual energy. Mm -hmm. To the point, it saturates the actual energy. Plus, these systems are not necessarily meant for entities that's outside of you, like you have in Christianity or something like that, where you have these things, this, 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 uh, this thing that's someplace all up in the air somewhere, this spook type thing. This was components of your own energy that you was actually harnessing or actually making manifest. And so there's a, there, there was an educated system on how the Africans used to do this, and this is separated from Ancient Africa, how it was done to, uh, uh, based on what you have in modern day Africa. Everything you must understand is the whole argument on what is pure is ludicrous. We talk about millions of years, literally. Um, everything is in fragments. Now, the European says, well, look, we got all these people here arguing over different types of culture the Euro, the Evo, the Hausa, ancient Egyptian, ancient Camite, ancient, uh, you know, the Arabic. You know, either esoteric or exoteric uh, when we talk about this particular stuff. We got all these black people in the culture and also later day cultures, which is not necessarily um, European, but then again, later day cultures like the Arabs and, you know, um, other people and all, even the Asians compared to how ancient we are. And the Europeans looking at it saying, you know, they're all arguing based on culture and customs, and they understand that all this stuff is fragmented. So they say, well, listen, what we'll do is we'll sit back and we'll let them be separated in this sectarian way, and basically we'll use it all. So the key here, the mystery now here is they say nothing is true, all is permitted. So how you actually go about doing this is you put all this stuff together that works. And then you have a much more cohesive way 
of actually reading the Excalibur and making this magic work for you. And because we're talking about science, and it's just like any kind of chemistry, when things are left out, it cuts the doggone potions and whatever. And so that's the deal. We're still trained in a religious way to look at this stuff, and it's not religious, religious as it is scientific. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? This was scientific educational systems that we are looking at the wrong way. And I think we, we have to change the way we look at it. But there's a, also a spiritual way we have to look at it with direct, uh, direct application based on your own mind. And we'll get into that also too in a few minutes. So I want to, um, I want to, um, I want to uh, deal with these right now. So you know the whole deal. I call out and you know our shade and give the power. So the first one is Zarabanda, who is the gateway to open the Zarabanda. Ashe. El Christian Negro. Ashe. Asantisma Miriti. Ashe. Mama Shola. Ashe. Simone. Ashe. Asantisma Pijiki. Ashe. Our scriptures and regulars. Ashe. 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 Tiacha, Shula, Ashe, uh, and the other one is um, Quacombo, Ashe, Quacombo, Ashe, Quacombo, Ashe, uh, and um, uh, we'll give you a list of uh, uh, these. We'll leave it behind or whatever. Thing you just write them down if you want to uh, before you get out of here and all that. Here and, and these are something that you really want to deal with. Um, we we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just settle with those right now. We'll, we usually give a, well, I guess I better go with the roll call right now. We get the energy going. So let's, uh, I just do it out of my head. So, Dini. Ashe. Ashe. Kali. Ashe. Kalima. Ashe. Kudra. Ashe. Kudra Shiva. Ashe. 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 <laughs> uh, like they say, you know, uh, in, in the Bible it says, Jesus will feel like the morning star. And by the time you get to the dog on the end of Revelation, Jesus said, I am the morning star. You didn't understand. And at the conference of Nicaea, they had to take the word Lucifer out of the Bible. That's right. And just give you one time you hear it and stuff, because you would put two and two together that Lucifer and Jesus are the same. As a matter of fact, the word Jesus is such a generic term and stuff, until Lucifer was a much more ancient primordial term. You see what I'm saying? So you got to understand those things. Um, let's go on. Um, <laughs> Vishnu. Ashe. Kenti. Ashe. Kemiti. Ashe. Kone. Ashe. Amuthis. Ashe. Kimu. Ashe. Kimophis. Ashe. Sophia. Ashe. Diana. Ashe. Pravati. Ashe. Sadi. Ashe. Krishna. Ashe. 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 Prometheus. Ashe. Dionysus. Ashe. Osa. Ashe. Ashe. Eru. Ashe. 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 Ramanathu. Ashe. 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 Okay, hold on, get another rope. Um, as they come. Shakia. Ashe. Uh, Das. Ashe. 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 Lepa, Ashe, Shango, Ashe, Oshun, Ashe, Ashe, Ishu, Ashe, Edward, Ashe, 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 Ashe,
The unseen that we're talking about is also the inner. It's yourself. Now, one of the keys here that we, we need to deal with here is, is basically to get to the full power is we understand it says in your book, even in the Bible, is it not written in the law that ye are gods and the scriptures cannot be broken. Now, I know a lot of people have a problem with this, but there is a way, and it's even in a book, Spiritual Hierarchy is by Rudolf Steiner. Get your hands on that book. Spiritual Hierarchy is by Rudolf Steiner. We've given out several texts. And in there, they said that the, in the Egyptian mystery school, they would take the initiate along for about 30 years and have him praying to Osiris and all these omnipotent deities. And then on his 30th birthday, they would come in and say, guess what? Um, the gods that you was praying to was nothing but the ancestors of old. And in actuality, you were one of the same lineage. Now, first of all, if we take Manetho, Manetho says, when Manetho when, when, when wrote to uh, Philadelphia II, uh, which was the, the person that said, we need a, a line of what Egypt is. We need to find out how old it is. Well, they didn't really give him the main timeline. He said, I'll put down something. And that book was named Sartis. It was interesting because um, I, um, we just started an a, 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 a actual a thing, a, a, a collage of my tapes and stuff that was spread out all over the country. Um, Sister Delbert back here, um, we came together about a, about a year ago. And we started the Art of Sockets, which is uh, my tapes and other conscious tapes. But basically, I had like hundreds of tapes that was all over the country. We put it in one major library. And the name of it is the Art of Sockets. Sockets is also another name for Sirius. But it was the, it's the feminine name for the star Sirius Sockets. Uh, uh, another name for Sirius, so the Art of Sockets. Um, and so we have that going in the main library and all. So uh, I want to put it on the tape. The tape goes out to know it's 404. 344-6862. And you can get your handouts from Sister Delbra um, when you leave and all. But dealing with that, the name of the book that was written by Manetho to give to the Greeks to tell them for the first time what Egyptian history was, was a book called Sophis, which was named after the star Sirius. That would start rising somewhere on June 26th to uh, July 25th when it reaches, uh, 23rd when it reached the meridian point which is very key, especially this year when it rises, by this being the millennium, this year, 2001, not 2000 before. That's where it is. You see what I'm saying? This year, so when it rises this year, there's some serious stuff. So very key now, starting on June 26th to, to, to July 23rd this year, when it rises to the meridian point and stuff, a whole lot of shit don't go down because this is the millennium. Yes. Now, July, Ju July 26th, June 26th to July 23rd, you see what I'm saying? Um, hmm? The new moon around that time, watch for that energy, that's going to lead into it. You see, we're going to get deep into this uh, also tonight and tomorrow when we do bouncing all of this, uh, uh, bouncing all this back and forth. Um, so now, one of the keys here is, um, when they ask him, well, how many... Pharaohs were they? He said, well, there was 500 pharaohs in the dynastic period, uh, another 800 pharaohs in the pre-dynastic period. He said, and all that roughly added up to about 10,000 years. 8 to 10,000 years. They said, well, who used to rule before then? He said, that's the whole bunch of gods used to rule. The mystery is the same gods that used to rule were later on the Egyptians in the physical bodies. The only difference between the gods that ruled in the primordial times compared to the people that were there in Kenya at that particular time is the vibration rate has become so dense until we took on physical bodies and lost massive amount of our actual senses. As far as our spiritual senses down to the five senses and stuff like that. So we got trapped in the physical matrix. And this is nothing that's on. Um, the movie matrix is nothing that the ancient Indians did, uh, from black India didn't say, I uh, was telling them from uh, the get-go. The movie is um, nothing but the same thing. It is, uh, you know, um, the whole Sanskrit text talks about Maya, and this is all an illusion. And just about every single ancient document from the ancient world talks about this being an illusion. In 
including the Bible sometimes, say this home is not my home. You know what I'm saying? I'm just passing by and they talk about the carnal fleshes. We get all this stuff here. But that is just watered down versions of something on a greater reality that this is only illusion. We'll go back to that in a few minutes. But one of the keys here, Rudolf Steiner in his book said that, the, that when the initiate got to that particular point, he said, damn, I've been worshiping these gods all these years. And now you mean to tell me that in actuality that the ones that I used to worship used to be ancient ancestors, although they might have not been in the physical, but in actuality I am one of them. Mm -hmm. And in the book of Coming Forth by Day, the book of the, the, book of the day, they say, I set up a ladder to the gods, but I am one of them. And I holler like the goose until they hear my prayer and report it to Sirius. Well, it's interesting because it's about four or five times in the Bible they say that ye are gods. You see what I'm saying? Now, the key here is, you probably heard all this before, but now we have to make a stand now in the millennium. And what it is is this. For whatever you do on the physical earth, we don't say, don't stop doing that. That means we don't tell you to go put on a big old robe and a king and walk all down the damn street, you know what I'm saying, like you Moses or Jesus or whatever. And you know what I'm saying, oh, you know. And so sad over this shit. We're not saying that. <laughs> what we're saying here is, is in all for you to get to the next paradigm, you're going to have to make a difference and you're going to have to make something, a different change than the average people out there. Why? Because you have been allowed for somewhere in the last, let's say, 13, 14, 15 years. And some of you, because we, you know, we have a conscious resurgence. We had one of them, we have them every 30 years. They had one in the 1930s, but late 1920s. You know, start with Marcus Garvey, the Noble Two Ali, um, Elijah Muhammad, you know, CM Bay. And then, you know, when you have that, that particular uh, uh, golden age, you see what I'm saying? At the turn of the century, you have a few people. You know, and the abolitionists, and they have people, including your boy um, that started the AME church. Yeah. You think that Richard Allen and them, and they, were, they would be equivalent of a Malcolm X based on the time side. Somebody that's going to say African Methodist Episcopal Church. You see what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. You see, that early, you see, that, that would be equivalent, of, that's very rapid. Yeah. So we have this, this resurgence of things going on, then we have one in the doggone. Late 60s, early 70s. Go get the movie Cotton Cubs of the Harlem because they got oh, yeah. all the damn poofies oh, yeah. and all the African stuff right there in Cotton Cubs of the Harlem. You see what I'm saying? Before COINTELPRO came in and broke it down. So we know this swing started somewhere in the late 80s. Mm -hmm. The late 80s. Yeah. But nevertheless, they came by 1996, they came in with Christian fascism. And the only thing they had to do this time is say, well, we know these black people have outlived just the whole aspect of, 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 of just being obedient to God. We have to now match this with Christian prosperity. Well. So this is the main thing that TV takes, Renfro Dollar, Fred right. Price, right. and all these people. They just put up a 60 million, $65 million dollar dog on church on Crenshaw Boulevard. Mm, mm, mm. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, and people are looking saying, look at these idiots. They got one guy that bought the forum. Yeah, I just saw that in the paper. The Los Angeles forum that they're practicing for in all them years. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know, and the LA ladies pull out. You know what I'm saying? And somebody, he's preaching on bought the forum. And so now they in the preacher was. One trying to out the other. You see what I'm saying? One trying to out the other. So when this guy purchased this 65 Million dollar church, Fred Price gets jealous. He said, I don't want no more Lear Jet. You know, that's James Brown in the 70s. No, I gotta go get me a damn DC 10. I'm gonna go get me a dog on Air Force One. So this thing, this, this thing is going out of hand, gotten out of hand. You see, so that's right. We have to understand at this particular time, on a critical time, what is this stuff all about and what is the what is the key and what is the mystery? The mystery now is pretty much when you talk about humanity. Been there, done that, well, not a damn teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you have to draw a line on whether you are going to become God's well, generator, well, operator, or destroyer, well, or whether you're going to be human. Well, and well, once you go over that line, you're going to find out. And let me explain what I'm talking about. Let me explain. Got it. So you can understand this thing. This, we get to the meat 
of what works. You see what I'm saying? What works. We know that we did the human thing for millions of years. And this is how energy works. You do something for millions of years, and the energy works for you. It's just like a child that's in childhood, a person that's in his, in, in, you know, his teenage years, and that works for that particular person. But then the energy moves into adulthood. And those things that you did in your teenage years, although you might be 30 or 40, you would be a laggard riding out on a goddamn hook at 10 speed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, 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 whatever teenagers do. You see what I'm saying at all? You know, you would, you would be a laggard. You would be something that is basically, it's outlived its function. You see, so humanity at this particular time is now becoming to its adulthood. And that adulthood is the mysteries of Christos, the Christ. There is something beyond this reality, but we don't want to give it to you in the whole thing of when I get to heaven, I'm going to put on my shoes and walk all over God's heaven, milk and honey every day. You know what I'm saying? Sitting out in some damn cloud somewhere. What we're talking about here is creating a mutation into the next step of evolution. But it starts in the mind. Now, what are we talking about starting in the mind? If all of the ancient material says that man is supposed to basically transmutate, mm -hmm. transform, well, metamorphosize uh -huh. into a new being, a new soul, a new spirit. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? We understand that we are on the verge of that, but the key here is, the key here is in the movie The Matrix, they say, look at the spoon. Don't try to bend the spoon. That's impossible. The real mystery, there is no spoon. Just bend your mind around the spoon and the spoon will bend. Well, it's the same thing with your mind now. The same thing with your mind now. You have to start thinking like deities. All right. This is the key. I share. Now, what does God what does God do? Give a damn about Valentine's Day. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about, you know, you know what does God do to give a damn whether you wear white after Labor Day? You see what I'm saying? By any human custom, we've been there, we've done that. we got thousands of forms of what we think is right and wrong in humanity, but we're not thinking like gods. All right. Or deities. You see? And this is the mystery of what the mystery system was talking about. Now, we did a historical thing, but did the Egyptians learn history? Mm -mm. What did the Egyptians think about? That's the key. The afterlife. The afterlife of illumination, metamorphosis. They weren't thinking about history. Mm -mm. They, was thinking they was living history. But what is the mystery? What is the education here? Right, uh -huh. Now we gotta understand here, and we got to understand that we have to really focus on this because we know that we think this is bull. Mm -hmm. One thing you gotta do is every block these white people got lodges. That's right. And they ain't up in there sipping no tea. No. Right. Right. Drinking no liquor and driving no cab. No. Thank you. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. They're up in there getting down with a oh, serious yeah. education. All right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And the education that they're getting down with don't resemble nothing in this college or any other college. Right. Right. University. Right. They're getting down with something on a grand scale. Right. And one thing they do when the initiates go over, mm. this is one thing I do know about even being in Dr. Ben's home. That's right. They signed the uh -huh. With the night that the white initiates go over, they go and they get a black man. That's right. Mm. They set the black man in front of the initiates. Mm -hmm. And they tell them, this is your father. This is your God. That's right. You must always keep him down. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You see. Yeah. So, you best believe yes. on November the 7th. What, what is the election? The 7th? 
No, what was the first Tuesday? It was the seventh. It was the seventh, I think. That when, when they got ready to pick the president and that whole thing shut down, hey. you best now believe that wasn't based on no mistake. That's right. That's right. You see, they knew there were several things that had to happen. They understood that Mercury was in retrograde. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they understood that anything when Mercury's in retrograde, you don't do it because it's a binding contract and any binding contract will disappear. That's right. Or will disintegrate. Yeah. They knew that. They also knew that there's a great black hole in space. We've been That's talking right. about this for the longest. That's right. They even showed their own nightline. Yeah. And but the black hole was coming from the area of Sagittarius. That's right. That's right. So they understood that they didn't want to do anything at a critical point between November the 7th until they stopped the stuff back, started it back on November, uh, December the 12th when they made the decision that they was going to go ahead with it. That's right. On December the 12th, that's 12, 12, which is 144, that's right. which is the number of the apocalypse. Yeah. You see? So, if you don't think that they're not dealing with this thing on an esoteric level, you're crazy. Yes, right. you crazy. That's right. You see what I'm saying? That's right. You know, we're the only people walking around here thinking that every day is every day, and it's just, right. it's just 1982. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get up and I go to work, you know what I'm saying? And everything is, you know, I just, you know, you know what it is. And the white boy tell you, you gotta go get a computer. You go get a computer. Mm -hmm. He tell you about mutual funds. Now you talking about mutual funds? Who gives a damn? Right. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you talking about mutual funds. You talking about so he's gonna tell you that the greatest society tell you where to move and you move, and you don't understand that we're talking about something on a greater level. Now going back to this, then. What do we do? We have to make the decision because we understood, understand one thing, that this is the millennium. They had the entire world partying on the whole fake millennium. That's right. That's and you know that show. I said, damn, how did they get the ancient people to agree on the damn calendar that these people say is legitimate? Even you got Chinese people that their calendar is about what, 2005 now. Yeah. Which is one of the closest ones on modern calendar is close to the original one. And how did they get them to agree to go put some damn fireworks and all that stuff and blow, you know, and all this stuff they did on, on 2000. And everybody parted on 2000. And then the real millennium came in and nobody did anything. It was quiet. That's right. 2001 was nothing other than the ball dropping. And old crazy ass Muhammad Ali hugged the dog with Giuliani. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they done made a monster out of him and a mockery out of him. And we don't even understand, I think I mentioned this the last time, the only reason why they're even showing Muhammad Ali is because they want to show you the monster that they made. That's right. They're not That's interested right. in his past. White people hated Muhammad Ali, dog. You know, 20, 30 years ago, when he stood up. You know what I'm saying? Until after they fed him the damn rat poison. That's right. Until after they gave him the bottom of the Richard Pryor. All right. All and all of them got similar the same thing. Richard Pryor in a damn wheelchair now. That's right. Two of the biggest mouths in the dog on 70s, raising hell and still dealing with the consciousness when the consciousness had dissipated, you see what I'm saying, yeah. into just basically a party. Yes. And isn't it ironic that those two same figures that was actually dealing with consciousness through the comedy and through his fights, Muhammad Ali, mm -hmm. they all in a wheelchair all messed up now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So my point is, so other than the, 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 the him, Kissing Juliana. Now he done went from telling some white British man up there saying, look, your brain is too small compared to mine. I dare you to challenge me. And he had that doggone white British man from Oxford shaking in his damn seat. Yes, mm. yes. He was a man that brought you to a high school education. You see what I'm saying? And he had that, he had that, he said, I dare you to challenge me. Your brain cannot doggone take my mind. Mm. Mm. And he had that British man <laughs> shaking in his seat. Mm. Mr. Oxford, Mr. Cambridge. Now, how did he go from that to hugging dog on Giuliani? Mm. You see, because they made a monster out of him because of what they did. The point is, the new millennium, the, the real millennium went quiet. Mm -hmm. But all the stuff is going down now. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm. All the stuff is going down now. We'll get into a, go back to this God thing in a minute, but we want to deal with some things mm. because they got an incident that's going on in Atlanta um, where they got these, these black people. Uh, the, 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 this black church, and they got corporal punishment, which can mean, you know, you go down, you know what your, your mama used to tell you, you go out there and pick that damn switch. Yes. Mm. 
And see, you come back and spit, she cut your ass bitch. No, now, you go to jail for that. So what used to be just a normal ass bitch? Look, that's a thin line between abuse. A person that's going to abuse a person that's going to abuse them any damn way. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to confuse with the abuse thing. You understand what I'm saying? But what they're calling abuse now is that if you got a weapon on your hand, you see what I'm saying? You know your mama put them weapons on your behind. The child can pick up the phone and call the cops. Or call DFAX, what they call it. It's a DFAX hill. It's called DFAX in Atlanta. And they come in there and bust it and take the child. So now they came in last week. The police came in beating these children, beating them over the head with a, with a, with a, with a, with a club, took one little boy, threw him in the wall, bumped his head on the wall, locked him up, put him in handcuffs. And they're supposed to be taking the child, rescuing the child from so called abuse. And yet they're abusing them and got them handcuffed and throwing them all in the car and beating them down. We're talking about children 11 and 7 or something like that. You see? So my point here is. They have different things like the sister saying they change under the doggone laws. You see what I'm saying? What is slavery? You see, we need to ask that question. That's right. What is slavery? And are we slaves? So, now, going back to that, we're at a critical time right now in the millennium. Now, what's the difference between what you've been saying, Bobby, for the last nine years and what you're saying now? Now the difference is, is we laid down the science, but now we actually have the juice to apply with the science. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we had to lay down all these laws on what we do to change a new way of living, a new reality. But we had to wait till the cycle matured enough where the energy is here. Mm -hmm. Where the energy is here. Now the energy is here. Mm. I share. The second day of the millennium, I started metamorphosizing. Man. Physical body going through different changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All types of things started actually happening. Yes. Now, I, now, now, you know it's amazing. Now, I can tell a damn lie. And an hour later, the shit come true. Yes. Or yes. oh, you can have us tell you. No. This is what we're dealing with now. We're dealing with a highly advanced science. <laughs> or you can think of something in your head, and two days down the road, it comes true. So what we're talking about, what the ancient Canaanites or the ancient Egyptians was talking about, and all these cycles and stuff, whereas you think it, and it is. You ever hear the books, Think and Grow Rich? And you, you think, well, you would think you have to work on the thought for years, because the cycle was so dense, until if you thought about it eventually, you wouldn't get it because that is a science. Thank you, prohibition. You can perceive it. You know, old cliche. You can perceive it. You can believe it. You can achieve it. But these are actual universal laws that will apply. What I'm telling you now is what used to take an estimated goal of how many years? Four years, five years, ten years. You say, oh, sure, work hard. Now you can do the shit in a matter of days. <laughs> because the cycle is now here. We're talking about the birth. And if you think this is crazy, it's because no, it's somebody right. no, convinced you that this shit don't work. That's right. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So I said, you know my gas get ready to get cut off. You know these gas bills. Well, it didn't matter because even when the gas bill was low, my shit would be on the fridge and get cut off. Oh, hey. <laughs> so I can use that excuse now. You know the gas is real high and my gas might be cut off. But two years ago, you see when the gas was low, my stuff was about to get cut off. So I said, you know, the gas, well, I said, you know what, I'm, I said, well, I'm putting it out there. You all got the dog on not turning my gas off, and I mean that. <laughs> you know. And then, about two days later, I asked one of the, one of the spiritual seals, I said, my gas uh, didn't turn off yet. He said, they're going to turn your shit off on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>
Then it ain't get cut off. And he said, okay, now, now we can get the ball to roll in. Now it can work. Now I can go to work. Because the other entities can only work through me. My, my, you, your higher self. You see what I'm saying? So you have to tell your higher self because we're talking about you being the battery. That's right. Now, dealing with this science, and uh, dealing with this, um, you have two systems going on here. You have what is called the seraphonic system. These are the entities that is outside of you that you've been taught to uh, uh, pray to. Then you have the cherubonic system or the chthonic system. These are the entities that's on the inside of you, which is the direct power of you becoming what you want. You will its power. You walk through the walls if you want to. You do whatever you want if you can fix your mind to deal with it. These ones are in you. It's just this one thing that went on. The cherubonic, the seraphonic system, system of the entities that's outside of you, these elemental forces that govern the universe, did a trick, a cosmic joke. All of the, all of the entities are the stuff of these batteries of what they call the archetype of the collective unconsciousness in Jungian psychology. There's a book, The Archetype right. of the Collective Unconsciousness by Jung. Big, thick book. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 there's another book called The Beginner's Guide to Revel Revelations by Robin uh, Robin Robertson, uh, and it's talking about these archetypes. You see, the, the cosmic joke is, the reason why you didn't have access to it, because about 2,000 years ago, everything that was the archetype uh, in the inner realm that, that governed the universe, excuse me, that governed your life on this planet so you can move about and create your own reality, about 2,000 years ago, or starting a little earlier than, earlier, than, earlier than that, all of that stuff was turned into evil. Yes. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. So, and so, this shuts you down to the point where as all of the stuff that was quintessential for you to become the entity was turned into evil. So we talk about the word Damien, which means one's own hidden genius. Yes. You see what I'm saying? You get the word demon, that you get scared of. Yeah. You get the word genius, then you get the word gin, that you are scared of. You see? You, so these, these particular science of what they call the archetypes were turned into something negative to shut you down. To shut you down. Mm. So what it is, religion, you see, has shut down your rise because you're giving all your energy to some entities that in actuality their main goal is to keep you down. And so we're not talking about some spooked out stuff, we're talking about just a matter of trying to locate the right science. You know, they say we're trying to locate your body. This is a trace pill. We're trying to locate your body in the matrix. Mm -hmm. mm. You see what I'm saying? Trying to locate your body in the matrix. The cosmic joke here is mm. that the inner workings of the stuff that rises you to another level, mm -hmm. mm. 2,000 years ago, was all turned into Satanism, mm. all turned into black magic, mm. all turned into these negative connotations. Including the ultimate mystery of the universe, the feminine principle we're going to get into today, right. that even a man <laughs> is a woman. All right. We're not talking about homosexuality. We're saying that what they call spirit, period, is feminine. That's right. That's right. Okay. 